And you can also support a preacher on television. Are you going to support pornography? <laughs> <laughs> are you going to support all the other bad things that are happening? Wow. You know, giving annoys Satan. Yes. The yes. first murder in the Bible happened because of an offering. That's good. An powerful. offering. Powerful. Nothing else. Can and you believe that? Yeah. Mm. The first murder happened because of an offering. And why? Because wow. Satan fears money in the hands of God's people. Yes. That's yes. the only reason. Satan yes. fears money in the hands of God's wow. people. Yes. The other day I met somebody who told me, well, I don't feel we should ask for offerings. God, you know, should just touch people on their belief. I say, huh, that's right. Do you believe that? Say, yeah. I told them, okay, do you make an article for salvation? He say, yeah. So why don't you just allow God to touch people and they'll just get saved? Do you call people for healing? <laughs> <laughs> you know, oh, that's good. That's rich. <laughs> like Dr. Maddox says, I mean, if you don't know what you're talking about, just keep quiet. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so powerful. giving annoys Satan. Yes. It annoys the devil. Yes. Praise God. Number four, your giving obligates God to act on your behalf. Mm. Your yes. giving obligates God to act on your behalf. Um, yes. I remember. A few years ago, I sowed a seed of a thousand dollars, and um, that time actually, I, I, I was really needing that money. And the Lord spoke to me and said, "Son, I need that money." Actually, that's the only time I've opened the Bible at random, and I got a message. You know, it's very rare you open the Bible at random and you get a message. I mean, mm. you might read, you know, something crazy, <laughs> like cast God and die, <laughs> or Judas went and hanged himself. So I opened the Bible at random, and it read, I'm the Lord who teaches thee how to make profit, mm -hmm. and who shows thee the way that you should go. Mm. Yes, yes. I was, I was battering with God, planting that seed, because that's the only money I had. I opened the Bible at random. He said, I'm the God. And then he said, oh, that you should have listened to me. And then he said, your peace would have been like a river. And then your seed shall be like the side of the seed. Yes, I put yes. that seed in the ground. Two weeks later, God used a man to give into my life $5,000. Mm. <laughs> Two weeks later. So your seed will obligate God to act on your behalf. The last point I want to share with you is your giving praises God. Uh, Paul talks about it in uh, Philippians chapter 4, 18. And... Uh, I just want to read it, if we can just turn quickly to Philippians chapter 4, 18. It says, but I have all and abound. I'm full, having received of Epaphroditus the things which were sent from you, an order of a sweet smell, a mm. sacrifice acceptable, well-pleasing to God. Your seed, your giving, pleases God. You're, whenever you put a seed in the ground, it goes before God like a sweet smell. Wow. <laughs> Anytime you put something at the altar, God is wondering, hmm, where is that coming from? And he has to locate the source yes. because it pleases God. Yes. If you look at all people in the Bible who give seeds, who put something on the altar, God had to react. God had to react. And one of the things I realized that pleases God so much about our seed is that your seed teaches you how to hear God more. Yes, it does. Yes, because it does. people who don't hear God, I mean, through their giving, most of the time, their disobedience, God will not talk to them more. But wow. if God tells you, give, and you're obedient, and, and you go ahead, you are sensitizing your heart to yes. obey. Mm, yes. You are exercising your senses. Mm. Paul talks about it that uh, strong good. meat. I believe seed That's is good. strong meat. Yes, yes. <laughs> the art of sowing is strong meat. And he says strong meat is for those who have their senses exercised. Mm. How? By the reason of use. Wow. So the more I give, the more I exercise obedience. Yes, yes. And the more I hear the Holy Spirit yes, more. Yes, yes. So, and that's why it praises God. Can you imagine the only thing that made God tell Abraham 
that now I trust you was an offering. The offering yes. created credibility with God. Wow. And God says, now I see your offering. Wow. Now I trust you Amen. with information. Amen. I trust you with knowledge, wow. with prophetic pictures of the future. Amen. I know we only have a moment left. Yes. I want mm. Pastor James Mina from Nairobi, Kenya, pastor and the founder of Wisdom Sanctuary. In the next 30 seconds, just stretch out your hand right there at the computer, the internet. I want you to stretch out your hand there as he leads us in a special prayer. We only have a few seconds left. Would you bless the partners? And there's five or six that the Lord's stirring right now about sowing the $1,000 seed. Amen. 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 I want to pray over the people who are sowing $1,000. And today I feel so stirred in the spirit right now. I want to agree with you. It's your seed out of debt. Father, yes, I want yes. to agree with the people of God yes. right now. In yes. the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I speak the dominion factor. <laughs> in their soil, I see debt. I see thorns. I see fear because of debt. But Father, right now, through their seed, they are authorizing the soil from today to produce something different. To produce prosperity. I speak blessings to overtake them. To overtake them. An avalanche of the blessings of God to hit epidemic levels in their lives. Oh, we bless you. We give you glory, Father, for the huge harvest. I bless the partners right now. In the name of Jesus, I pray. It Amen. is done. Amen. Praise God. Amen. So be it in Jesus' name.